Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's usually me in the background making that noise. How are we all? Um, good morning, Reem A W Zoe Griffiths Brown. Nadia is just over there. For those of you who've just joined from our Instagram Live, that's Nadia Swala off the telly. Will be here in a minute. But for those of you, for those of you who don't know who she is or don't care, welcome. Um, Carly, you know, refresh your screen, refresh your screen. If you ever get black screens, just refresh your screen. Um, Melissa Phillips, Cody Greenslade, Lynn Sheard, Zoe Griffiths-Brown, Raspberry Mojita Girl, December 1982, Steffi Quinlan, Shelley Silver, Sally Sullivan, Bethan Williams, Hazel Malbon, Carly, you know, Sharon Elston, Melissa Phillips, Tim Reed in the house, Faith Goodman, Sharon Elston, Steffi Quinlan, Jane Ball, Sally O'Sullivan, I've said you before, Jenny Matthews, Dawn Claricoats, Oh, God. Nadia's filming in the background. Oh, Nads, Nads, it's Tim. Nads, go and look after Tim. Uh, he might comment on how much weight you've lost, darling. He's always commenting on how much weight I've lost. Hi, um, everyone. Be with you in one she'll minute. She'll be with you in a minute. That's her Super Mario outfit. Um, has anyone seen Chris Pratt is voicing Super Mario? Hey. Now, oh, Tim, he's such a good guy. Say good morning to Tim. Say hello to Tim. What's in there? Oh, that's for the dogs. Oh. Now, one of you subs recommended this for the dogs. We love your recommendations. We always listen to you, you know. And uh, apparently it's for, well, I don't know if it's the same stuff, but they make stuff for horses. They make stuff for... So basically our dogs, both of our dogs, because we had to change their diet, they've been raw, but we changed their diet um, to uh, a very, very good pet food, because lots of pet foods rush, but it's just made their skin itch like crazy. So thank you, whoever recommended that. Stuff. We'll have a look, we'll have a go at that. That's non-stinky stuff. What's that for? This is non for their skin and to go in their food. Oh, it's a food supplement. Yeah, it's a food is. supplement. And I think you can also put it on their skin as well. Soothe oh. irritated skin, promote hair regrowth, support condition and well-being. Now, this is sanctioned by the Royal uh, Veterinary Society, I think. And I think racehorses use it. So whoever it was, I don't care if you're here now, tell us. Thank you for the recommendation. Also, we've been putting, I don't know if your dog's got bad breath. But whenever I put it regularly in Toffee's um, food, it's like a seaweed thing that you can get at the pet, at the, uh, pet shop and it really does make a difference. Do you might, might you put it in yours? In your Mark. Food? <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, Reem Al Amy Curtis Annie. is enjoying Hello. a vegan diet. You have to check out my sister's Instagram account, Miss Dina. Um, Why she did we does the most the fantastic vegan recipes on there. I mean, they really, she's such a good cook, isn't she, Mark? She really is. He doesn't understand why she likes stuff called jets. I can't stand them. Um, Elaine Upright, why have you changed from raw? We give ours raw. Well, well, we're not totally convinced about changing no. from raw, well, but, no, it's... <laughs> but there was a story that I worry, worry is a scaremonger story put about by the pet industry. I don't know. But it is advisable when you have a dog that's been as unwell as ours, she has an immune, some kind of immune problem, not to have her on raw just in case she couldn't fight any like, I don't know, little salmonella or whatever. So we were advised by the hospital to take her off raw. But I am actually now creating my own recipes for them because then I absolutely know what's in it. Faith Goodman, absolute pleasure for giving you some notice way in advance of the live. It's nicer, isn't it? Because then you know you get, you've got a sense of... Good we'll, morning, we'll Mum of Girls. Member for five months. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Sally O'Sullivan, love your jumper, Mark. Thank you very much. This was much, much tighter when I wore it in lockdown. And also... Do you think you'll ever change from doing 16-8? Probably not. No. Why not? Why, why would I? 16-8 is this... New I have to confess, I've really struggled with the last two days. Yeah. Really struggled. Do you think you maybe haven't eaten enough in your eight-hour window? Possibly, yeah. That's, that's a distinct I think you've just got to be stricter with having... Like yesterday, I wasn't really hungry. Right. But I had... I just made myself a really healthy dinner and had it. Yeah. I finished eating at six last night, mm. and I just wasn't... 
I was fine. Oh, actually, no, I wasn't. What was I talking about? I was no, bloody starving at 10 o'clock. You took yourself to bed early because you couldn't bear the... She <laughs> took herself to bed early because she was worried she was going to eat. I didn't go to bed early and I found some <laughs> flapjacks. And he ate a box of flapjacks. Well, no, there were only six tiny chunks. It was probably the equivalent of a flapjack, but I wish I hadn't. Oh, what's that? That's, that's my uh, voice. Comfort. Can I just say, I'm... Morning, Jen oh, Legs. Nice frozen. to see you. Uh, oh, look at that. What's going on here? Um, are we all all right? The screen is completely frozen. Um, you look... That doesn't look too good, does it? Um, I've kind of tamed myself and toned down, but I have never... A pleasure, Sophia. I am getting so cross about the government and this fuel crisis. Yeah, Mark's actually losing it. He hasn't been very pleasant, actually, this morning. He wouldn't even give me a hug when I wanted one because he was too Because non-drivers just go, yeah, it'll be all right. And it's hang actually on, Hang really on a minute. Can you just stop, keep saying that like I'm a moron? No, not like you're I a moron. I completely like, understand can... the situation without driving. Right. It's really annoying me. I've put up with it five times this morning and okay. now it's pissing me off. All right, but can I just say that George, George Eustace, or Eustace, Let's call him George Useless. Useless. Um, sat there and said, fuel crisis, there are signs that panic buying at the pumps is calming down. And guess why they're saying that? Because there's no queues at the petrol stations, but... What? There's no queues at the petrol stations oh, because... Oh, yeah, yeah, because there's no fucking <laughs> petrol. <laughs> We you are... can't drive past a fucking petrol station and say, oh, the queues have gone because it's sorted. The it's queues aren't there because there's no petrol. I, I had I've to got, walk down to oh our petrol station God. the other day to check yesterday because we don't have enough petrol to get to the pet. Well, we can't waste any because we've got to get Kiki to school every morning. So to go and check. And it's how infuriate. I mean, I know we've spoken about this the last two lives, but it is, an, a, it is the obsession of the nation. And the problem is, is that, look, some people are being selfish. I'm not ignoring that. Some people are getting more than they need. Some well, people, some people are frightened. Some people are rushing and all frightened. that kind of stuff. Yeah, but to not, to, to, to panic is, you know, to, to skew it as panic. This fuck it, I'm sorry. I'm don't, really, don't no, I'm really, really sorry. I'm so... <laughs> you don't know. I'm, I'm just unfettered. You go with what you want to go. I'm going to go with this. This government does nothing other than point the finger at, at people, us. the population, and sets us up off against each other. These wankers coming onto television with their fucking Etonite fucking approach to everything and saying to all of us, it's all your fault. It's all your fault for panicking. People are panicking because you come on television and go, no need to panic. I was saying this on one o'clock yesterday. I said, if they tell me one more time that there's not a fuel, fuel shortage, I find as well that when I'm listening to the radio, I don't find the presenters grill them enough on that. No. Yes, there isn't a shortage in the country, but it's not available to the people, the citizens of this country, to buy it. Mm. And it's like Nick Ferrari keeps on saying... If you say don't panic, all Everyone that people panics. are going to do is panic. He said this morning to Andrea Ledsom, he said, I'm a journalist. If somebody says to me there's no problem, I know there's a problem and I dig. If somebody says there's no panic, I know there's a panic and it's going to inc in incite concern. Let's just, because that word panic, I find is very passive aggressive because it, it is concern for people's livelihoods and mm. people's lives, just getting about, getting their kids to school, now, getting to Yeah, work. I mean, there, there are crucial frontline jobs, and this is what I'm furious about. This isn't just selfishness. This is about, this is about frontline workers. This is about people, exactly ordinary right. people, ordinary people worried that they can't go about their normal lives. Now, of course, there's a whole separate argument that I'm sure Insulate Britain and Extinction Rebellion are kind of chuckling away going, ha, 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 this is, what, this is gonna happen far worse. I agree, but for it to happen so suddenly makes you wonder what, you know, what is our margin for survival? Well, because there's no planning, because it was, oh, well, I'm going to read that out in a minute, Natasha. There was a, there was a, a general army person on today and, 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 um, and, and Nick said, so, so how does the armed forces, how do you actually feel when we say, oh, can you just come and sort this out? He said, well, first of all, you've got to remember, we've only got about 150,000 troops, right? We know that we are basically an insurance policy for the country, mm -hmm. but we cannot fix 
appalling planning. No, or a fundamental yeah. structural problem. And he didn't, they never go too far, do they, to make political yeah. statements. But he said, we can't fix that. Yeah. There is no strategic forward planning. Yeah, I agree. And that's the thing. But that's can I just thing. say crucially, because obviously lots of people do say, but if people didn't panic by, if I hear that once more, if people didn't panic by, I agree there are some selfish people. We're going to talk about a very selfish person in a minute. There are some really selfish people getting more than they need. But the idea that it's panic is created. That word is created by the government because what they're going to do is they're going to gaslight us even more into thinking that the problem originally was us and the media. That's all they're blaming. If this government took some responsibility, just a microscopic a bit, we would all probably be a bit more favourable. But the fact that they take no, no responsibility... They take no responsibility for none. anything. I've never heard them apologise for the millions wasted on the track and trace. Because, because if they Because give they inch, got their friends to sort it out no. rather than... than than people in the know. Because if they give an inch, apologize. if they give an inch on this whole sorry saga, if there was an opposition that had any credibility, they would be able to say to them, this is a total disaster, a structural, un you know, why is, what, where is Labour? Where is Keir Starmer saying, look at the state that this country is in? I know, Faith Goodman, what, are the, what is Boris doing, the rest of them actually doing this week? I'll tell you what they're doing. They're spending lots of time sitting on TV shows and radio stations, looking at us like we're a load of idiots, going, well, you know, you panicked. Mm. We've got loads of fuel. It's just that you Smug all panicked. Smug as well. Smug. Because it's like what I was saying last night. His finders say you're just idiots that have panicked when you are guaranteed a car up and down to Westminster, exactly. when you're guaranteed to be able to get your shopping, when, you're when you live a life that is so far removed from ordinary people, they literally don't know what they're talking about, Mark. Yeah. They, they, don't, they don't know. Do they know don't what? know what it's like to have to get your kids to school, get to a job on time, no. maybe get to a second job, and then say, oh, just get the bus. Or as somebody said yesterday, apparently the transport minister said, oh, well, this is good, everyone can buy electric cars. Oh, my God. But, I mean, the cost there are no fucking plug sockets. But apart from anything else, who can afford to just go and buy electric cars? There are cars? no plug sockets. It's very hard to find a car that's less than £45,000. The thing, this is the straw that's broken my camel's back. Because all the way through the COVID crisis and everything, they have turned the population against each, each other. other. They have Do you remember Pretty Patel flames. when she said, tell on your neighbours? Do you remember that? Tell on there your There was neighbors. a real community they spirit. They blamed the youth. People were starting to pull together and Pretty Patel said, phone the police if you see any of your neighbours doing anything they shouldn't do, like, like bloody East Germany. Natasha Tiramos, you see, it's these little stories as well. We're going to Bristol for two nights with two dogs. Finally managed to get enough petrol to go, but worried and finding enough to get back. Told hubby we shouldn't go, but he insists it will be okay. That's like a very small story, isn't it, compared to like the ambulances and the, you know, people getting to their yoga class or whatever. Um, uh, uh, sorry, ambulances Except and, and people, not, so people not getting to their jobs. But this is what I'm, this is what I said yeah, yeah. to Mark. I said, hopefully now people, because this is getting into our lives in a way that we don't have space for with everything we've been through in the last 18 months. And I'm really hoping that the Tories are, are, are messing up yet again something so badly that people will start to go, actually... Actually, you know, like the Angela Rayner thing we were talking about last night, everyone's demanding that she apologises for the oh, word scum. Oh. I think she's a genius because what happened is now everywhere we're seeing all the things that Boris should bloody apologise for before but demanding we, that Angela but Rayner... are we in the right-wing press? Are we really seeing No, it but enough? there's a lot of people... Yesterday I was reading out some of the things he said and on this live, just on this live, and that's happening everywhere, we're going, what? God, people have forgotten those racist, homophobic, sexist I know. things I know. he said. And they want her to apologise for calling him scum. If I, it's, it's these posh knobs sitting there commenting on everyone. It, I cannot stand their super... But the point is, the reason they're so supercilious is that the opposition is non-existent. So they can be as nasty as they want, as out of touch as they want, because they know that they're never going to be voted out. And, and, you know, oh, my God, Keir Starmer, standing on a, on a podium talking about the way in which we've got to vote yeah. people into the Labour Party. The country is out on the streets. And you're discussing how you should vote the next leader of the Who Labour Party. Who gives a fuck? We don't care. I mean, every time they go to the news to the, to the Labour bloody 
conference. But it's just snore time, isn't it? Oh, it's awful. It's, and who was the jerk Kerry who, J. Who, signed, who, who, who resigned yesterday? Who was he? Well, they were asking people out and about and everyone thought he was a footballer. Kerry J. Williams, £1,500 to get a charge point in your garden. Exactly. Yeah, but the point is, On you drive, of hang on, you're driving to London, apparently there are different plugs. It's not like you get a, you get a car and you just, there's a oh. universal plug socket that you you're just plug joking. in. It's different plugs. I've been in central London, there's about three plug sockets next to Mamma Mia. That's all I've ever bloody seen, that's it. Stacey269, I don't drive, but I worry over people with elderly relatives exactly. and vulnerable children that need their car. Then car. Then you have other people who have two to three cars per house that drive to the shops they can walk to. Exactly. But I'm really worried about people that won't be paid this week because they haven't got to work. Yeah. Let's just, you know, lots of people that are out there panic, buy, panic buying are people that are worried they're not going to get to work. Or, 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 or as, people as that Stacey driving said, is part of their job. Or people who are trying to look after relatives. People who are trying to just, just go about their everyday lives. Just going about their everyday lives that they need to do. And apparently this whole having the army on standby, apparently it'll only be like 100 drivers. Welcome, Kelly, Kelly. And they've got to be trained because they can't just hop into a, a, a commercial uh, fuel tanker and just drive it around the streets of, mm. you know, the UK and just pop in. It needs training. I mean, and this guy from the army was saying that a lot of these soldiers are very young. Mm. You know, they just haven't got the experience to be driving that way. So yeah. it's not really just a, a massive solution. shining hope, a light yeah. of hope, I don't think. I mean, you know, one of the things is, is, it's like, again, it's this polemic when you have an argument. It's like, if I say it's really frustrating that the government aren't doing anything, anything someone else, that's what I'm about to talk about, God. someone else talks about the fact that, it, that people are silly, they're panic buying. Some people will be being selfish at the pumps. Some people will be getting stuff they don't need. But we mustn't take our focus off the yeah, government that because was, of exactly. that. Exactly. You, you know, we are falling into the government's trap. It's a bear trap if we carry on just going, oh, it's him, oh, it's him, oh, it's him. That said, things are getting really tense uh, in London. Somebody was saying to me the other day, they've got a friend that works, that runs a petrol station, and he said, the thing is, they've known for months there's going to be this mess. Mm. There's been problems... For months with delivery. That's what, so, that's what gets me. That's what gets me. Where's the opposition? Where's Pumping the them planning? with proof yeah. of all of that. Okay, I've got to be gone by bang up, bang on 11. A man pulls knife on queue jumper at London petrol station as fuel crisis intensifies. Now, not surprisingly, cities, urban conurbations are going through the worst situations with the fuel because London especially has so many more drivers to the few, uh, to petrol stations that are there. Apparently, something like 20% of London's petrol stations have been bulldozed down and turned into uh, accommodation, which is one of the other problems that we've got in London. I didn't know that. But a car passenger pulled out a knife on a driver who'd allegedly tried to jump the queue at a London petrol station. You know, now this kind of behaviour is ridiculous. The person shouldn't have jumped the clue, queue, but you so certainly shouldn't be pulling bloody knives on them. I mean, this... You know, that's when it's gone mad. But look, there he is, kicking the window of a car. Oh, my God. What worries me is that people have knives to pull. Oh God. You but, you know, it's just so scary, isn't it? Because people are so close to the edge anyway. Well, Before this. Not, not with a nut in a knife turns, Before but, this. Yeah. Anyway, it, it just... I, I urge you all, even if you're thinking, oh, there are people who are panic buying, try, consider whether you're being nudged by gaslighting into a position on other members of the population rather than actually this government that are fraudulent and i swear they know the psychology of how to manipulate a population because i think they're doing that and and and, and it infuriates me it infuriates me oh, god i'm exhausted sorry about that r kelly this this story is hideous but at least the victims in his case, have some justice. Finally got some justice. I mean, and I went through the history of allegations and they're far too long and involved to, to, to show here, but they do involve, I can, you know, the sexual trafficking is him having shipped people across county lines and state lines, underage girls, him And these creating, are often girls yeah. that were like, that he lured in through, his, through the music business. Often underage, you know, the whole issue with his first ever marriage, she said, he said she was 18, she was actually 15. Um, so, yeah, no, I, I mean, 15. well, the vast majority of the women, the now women, what? who've been abused or taken advantage of were all underage or under 18 when, uh, when this happened. Thanks, Timry. 
Uh, yeah, one of those moments where it's all right to get angry, isn't it? Um, and so, you know, I, I heard that there was an intriguing piece I read somewhere where certain um, sort of social groups or pressure groups in America that represent the needs and rights of black women specifically have said that they feel the reason it's taken so long to get the R. Kelly case to, to this point where he's been you know, found guilty, they feel is because the victims are black women. And I think, you know, whatever we can think in the safety of our lives over here, I wouldn't be at all surprised if there was some truth in that. I mean, you only have to look at the way things are stacked yeah. in America. But I would also think that, that America would want very much, as him as a black man, you know, having committed these atocious crimes, would be very much wanting to make a great big show trial of that Yeah, well, but would you... you know? I'm sure black women in America would say there's white men, there's white women, there's black men, and then there's black women in that order of priority, mm. Uh, mm. unfortunately. And... Mm. and and he abused boys too, as Faith Goodman says. So, you know, you, it, and as, an you, as, yeah, as you go through the list of allegations, you, you see an acceleration, don't you? An acceleration. It does of make you wonder how many more we're going to see come out from the music, music business. Industry. Because, because, because we've done the movie industry, of course, there's still a load more that we won't have heard of. But we haven't really with the music industry no. in the same way, have we? Yeah, so much of it was in plain sight, Melanie Williams. And a little bit like, unfortunately, that horrendous character, Jimmy Savile. You wonder sometimes whether the the being in full sight, plain sight, oh, yeah. is part of it's the, the bloody, defense. Is, Absolutely. Well, no, not just part of the defense, but part of their thrill. Oh, the thrill. Yeah, but that's what drives. Yeah, it. I think strange. so. The socio sociopathic. Yeah. Like liking that risk and. Marilyn Manson is due to go to court. He's had another uh, case brought against him, and uh, but he is due to go to court. It's a little bit like the whole, you know, serial killers who like to sort of leave their mark, and they like mm. the notoriety, don't mm. they? They like to be kind of... Um, now, big news around that the Sabina beautiful... Nessa. Look at that. Should we just take a second? That beautiful mm. face. I know. I mean, I didn't realise she was only a couple... I mean, why do these things make any difference? But she was just a couple of minutes from her home, mm. and there's that extra sort of... Though we, though we, many of us never feel safe, you, you usually feel a bit safer, just like the closer you are to mm. home. I don't mm. know why that really upset me on a, again last night, that. And yeah. somebody messaged, was it you, Lee? Was it Lee, you, Lee, wasn't it? Lee Durant, he said that um, a colleague of his is a relative of hers and to just see the impact that it's had yeah. on him and the family. Uh, just, yeah. just um, so, so it looks like they, and I think they've charged him, haven't they? they yeah, they've they, charged they, Yeah, him. they've got a chat that they've charged 36 year old from East Sussex. And again, you just think, what the hell is going on in your head to do that? He's a food delivery yeah. guy. Yeah. Um, don't actually know if he was a full time, I think he's Eastern European, wasn't he? I don't know if he's a, 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 a resident here or whether he's, I don't a know. But that post, look at this, out. a post mortem examination into the cause of Miss Nessa's death was inconclusive. What? Wow. I mean, how weird. How weird that, that that's the case. But once again, once again, I suppose, you know, it's that thing of it's good news, it's terrible news, it's some resolution, it's no resolution. I mean, we talked on the Sunday show about... Well, it's the, very about good the... news for all the people living in that area that have yeah. been scared out of their minds. And for the family, there will be a moment of salve that, that the person has been caught, but... But we were talking on the Sunday show about the ripple effect of these things, and it was really sort of heartbreaking to see that all of her students and the children at her school are having to have trauma counselling because they're so distressed um, that face. about it. But yeah. Um, and remember, guys, as we said on the lives a couple of times last week, 73 deaths of women. How many of them have you heard about since Sarah Everard? How many? That's weird, isn't it? Sonia Saxby Court, but what punishment? Actually, yesterday, I don't know if any of you saw my impassioned plea on Instagram, but um, a, a female PC actually messaged me and she said, you know, Nadja, I just completely, you know, identify with this and this feeling. She said, and it's so hard because we catch people and the mm. sentences are dire. Mm. You imagine that frustration, the police, because they, they'll know so much more because mm. we're only ever told bits of what happens to these poor women mm. they'll know the de finest detail of the depravity of these mm. people and then they do all the work and then they're not given much of a sentence as kirsty jane xo says but there's many more people out there this is happening to i mean of course the yeah. 73 women who have died 
are sadly those who've died, but how many have either had a close scrape? You know, you never hear about those, do you? It's, it's, it's just... Somebody messaged me yesterday, she's living in Turkey. She said, women are being murdered all the time in their homes here. She said, but the strange thing is, I can walk with no fear at all through a park or through down Dark Street. And I said, well, if you think about that, that's like another offshoot of horror, isn't it? Because mm. it's a possession. The wife is a possession. It's mm. almost like that attitude. Yeah. Wherever you look, and you know, people, people in other people, you know, could look at the West and think that we have, you know, a fairly decent society. We don't. No. We absolutely don't. Uh, Sonia Sasby, when it comes to this, my cousin is a police. Is, is in the police. It hurts him that they don't get punishment. I bet. I bet. It is an ugly world. But there's a lot of beauty in the world too. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely. So, should we go to wildlife, Mark? Yeah, so this is the final story. Well, this isn't a nice story. What have I put in the wildlife getting high? This, this I just was just, I don't know, again, I was just like, oh my God. Glastonbury Festival, levels of MDMA, acid, cocaine in the local rivers... Levels of illegal drugs are enough to harm the wildlife found oh in river God. running through the site. During the festival, levels of MDMA and cocaine in the water were so high they could affect the life cycles of protected species of wildlife further downstream, researchers discovered. I hope they're not bottling the water further downstream, because otherwise you're going to get a lot of people off their tits. Uh, levels of illegal drugs are high enough to harm wildlife, which is just, again, it's another sort of reminder. You know, these festivals... For saying that probably the vast majority of youngsters at them Greedy, uh, too are, big. are probably would argue that they're on the right side of climate change and all that, but the tent, uh, you know, the tent rubbish and the rubbish that's left behind and the, the way in which stuff is left behind, and then of course I'd never thought about this. You get drug pollution. I mean, you know, God recreational almighty. drug pollution. Now the weird thing about that is we, I remember reading a report go that in, in London. It's, this is true. In London, there are set, squirrels find tin foil with crack cocaine and stuff like that in it because they're ferreters, aren't they? They go eating lots of stuff. There are crack addicted squirrels. So when I say that, there are literally. So sometimes I remember driving down a road once and this squirrel ran into the middle of the road, stood on its back legs, went like that, and then ran off. It was definitely raving. Definitely raving. So, um,. So there you go. I just thought I'd share that with you. It's a story that's just broken. Quite a shocking story, I have to admit. It is quite shocking, isn't it? I mean, I don't know if... The, exactly. Maybe... Sarah says people don't even take their tents home. No, they set it's them on so fire. Awful. Apparently there's this thing of setting people's tents on fire. Oh, God. I mean, that's just ludicrous. While well, uh, people are in them. Dawn Claricoats, we've all seen your happy birthday. Um, I just want to say... Can I just say, the reason I think I've got so cross... Hit the is... like button underneath us, guys. Yeah. And we've got to get to 200. There's nearly 700 of you watching. Yeah, I just think so. There's so many things about this country that is making me more and more embarrassed about it. Mm. It's just so embarrassing. You know, the Germans and everyone are just looking at us, going, "I mean, who was it? Some, I think the guy who's won the election or is near to winning the election because it's almost a hung parliament, isn't it?" In mm. Germany, he said, yeah. "We can categorically tell you that the problem in Britain, we are all yeah. in Europe looking yeah, at the problem in did. Britain, he is said, because of Brexit. It, it, that's and why we the are fuel... being gaslit." Mm. Oh Hannah, God. I'm going to close the drawer. Don't worry. Hannah's very upset by the drawer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Right, my lovelies. Okay, can we sing happy Let's birthday sing to Dawn Claricote? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dawn Claricote. Happy birthday to you. You're a lovely member of the team, Dawn. Thank you very much yeah. for all your contributions. Thank you. We love you guys, you know. Sorry, we love sorry. Time I just you. felt really, oh, just sometimes it's just like, Don't why is there no one in the media? Feeling... Why is there no one in the media or in the opposition doing this? I've got to listen to James O'Brien. He'll help oh, me. Oh, get him today. on. Get him on. Ten o'clock he started. Oh. oh, I'll have missed his tirade. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, guys, we're going to be reviewing the Britney um, documentary later. We watched it last night. Mm. So we'll be putting that up later. Really, really, wow. And Powerful Sophie, stuff. Are, we are going to be reacting to uh, Paul Thomas Anderson's new trailer, um, Licorice Pizza. Curious and name, also to um, Sky Elise's film. Yes, yes. The Hometime Vlog compilation. Can't wait. So we'll Guys, see you later. have a lovely day. Bye. Bye.